we have a right triangle whose height is 6 units and hypotenuse is 10 units. We need to find the area of this triangle. You might laugh at this and say, this is super easy. Just use the area equals half times base times height. Height is 6, hypotenuse, or the base is 10. Half of 6 times 10 is 30 and we are done, right? But do you think Google, who hires the most genius minds from around the world, will ask such silly questions unless there is a twist in it? So here's the twist. The answer is not 30. Let me explain. Label both these sides of the triangle as A and B. Using Pythagoras' theorem, we have A square plus B square equals 10 square or 100, right? Also, what will be the area of this triangle in terms of A and B? Here this A acts as base and B as height. So the area equals A times B over 2. But we calculated the area of this triangle as 30 square units. So equating both of them gives AB over 2 equals 30 or AB equals 60. We have two equations and two unknowns, and we can solve for A and B. Write B as 60 over A and substitute it here. We get A square plus 60, square over A square equals 100. Multiply both sides by A square to remove the denominator. You get A to the power 4 plus 60 square equals 100 times A square. Let's bring everything to the left side. We get a to the power 4 minus 100, a square plus 3600 equals 0. Now this looks scary, but wait. This is just a quadratic in a square. Let x be a square. So the equation now becomes x square minus 100, x plus 3600 equals 0. On solving this quadratic equation, we get x as this and this. Wait, what? This means we're taking the square root of a negative number. That means there is no real solution for x, which in turn means there is no real solution for a and b as well, which means such a triangle cannot exist in real life. There is another way to look at this problem. Suppose we have a circle and we draw a right triangle inside that circle with the hypotenuse of the triangle as diameter. Then by a famous rule in geometry called Thales' theorem, any triangle drawn inside a circle with the diameter as its hypotenuse will always be a right triangle. Now, if the hypotenuse is 10, this means the diameter is 10 units, so the radius of the circle is 5. Now suppose we drop a perpendicular from the right angle vertex to the hypotenuse. This becomes the height from the right angle to the hypotenuse. But here's the thing. This height can never be 6. Why? Because in a circle of radius 5, the maximum possible height is exactly 5. It violates Thales' theorem, and therefore such a triangle cannot exist. Thus, Google wasn't trolling us. It was a trap to see how deep we can think before blindly applying formulas. So good.